Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. That is, isomerism in biomolecules. Part 1. Let me start the video by defining isomerism. Isomerism is the phenomenon whereby certain compounds, with the same molecular formula, exist in different forms owing to their different organizations of atoms. The concept of isomerism illustrates the fundamental importance of molecular structure and shape in general chemistry. Now after defining isomerism I will portray types of isomerism. The two main class of isomers are constitutional isomers and stereoisomers, constitutional isomers are also known as structural isomers. Stereoisomers are classified as, configurational isomers and, conformational isomers, or, conformers. Configurational isomers, is further classified in four different subtypes. Where first is, geometric isomers, which is also known as, cis-trans isomers, and, ZE isomers. Second subtype is, enantiomers, which is also known as optical isomers. Third subtype is, diastereoisomers. Fourth subtype is, meso-compounds. Now, I will explain, constitutional isomers. Constitutional isomers are also known as structural isomers. It is defined as, molecules having same chemical formula but, different structure. Let's see its example. Here the two compounds shown in the image has different structure, but has same chemical formula, that is, C4H10, so, this two compounds are known as, constitutional isomers, or, structural isomers. Similarly, another example is shown on the right where two compounds has same chemical formula, that is, C4H10O, but has different structure. Now I will explain stereoisomers. Stereoisomers are defined as, isomeric molecules, that have the same molecular formula, and, sequence of bonded atoms, that is constitution, but, differ in the three-dimensional orientations of their atoms in space. Different theoretical examples of stereoisomers is shown in the image, here, the structure of molecules in each example is same, but, they differ in the three-dimensional orientations. Now once you understand the principle to identify isomers, I will show, examples of structural isomers that are found in living systems. Carbohydrates are the excellent examples of structural isomers in living systems. Glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone, both has different structure, but, same chemical formula, C3H6O3. Similarly, glucose and fructose, both has different structure, but, same chemical formula, C6H12O6. Image on the left shows the structure of glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone, which are visibly different but has same chemical formula. In same way, image on the right shows the structure of glucose and fructose, which are visibly different but has same chemical formula. The basic hierarchy of isomer classification is shown, as explained previously in the video. Now, I will focus in explaining you, conformational isomers. So now, let's begin with, conformations and conformers. The complete set of all possible torsional angles, of a molecule, defines its conformation. Certain well-characterized conformations of same molecule, are called, conformers. I will explain, conformers of ethane, denoted by structural formula C2H6 and, represented as CH3-CH3. Staggered conformer of ethane has lowest energy. As the dihedral angle, theta, equals to 60 degrees. The first image shows staggered conformer of ethane, represented using ball and stick model. Second image shows staggered conformer of ethane, represented using dash wedge projection. Third image shows staggered conformer of ethane, represented using sawhorse projection. Fourth image shows staggered conformer of ethane, represented using Newman projection. Now, let me show you all the different possible conformers of ethane. The image shows the posinal conformers of ethane, 
represented using sawhorse projection. Each conformer of ethane shown in the image, the dihedral angle, theta, is different from its neighboring conformer. Eclipsed conformer has highest energy, thus it is unstable conformer, and its dihedral angle, theta, is zero degree. On the contrary, staggered conformer has lowest energy, thus it is stable conformer, and its dihedral angle, theta, is 60 degrees. Conformational analysis of various ethane conformers is shown in the image. The image shows the graph of potential energy versus dihedral angle of ethane conformers. Higher the potential energy, more unstable the conformer is, and vice versa. For ethane, the staggered conformer has potential energy equal to only 3.0 kilocalories per mole potential energy. Thus, staggered conformer is highly stable. Another molecule, cyclohexane, represented by chemical formula, C6H12, also shows several conformers. The image shows staggered conformer of cyclohexane, this staggered conformer, assumes, chair-like structure, so called as chair conformer. Chair conformer that is, staggered conformer, of cyclohexane has no cyclic strain. As all the bond angles are 109.5 degrees. And, all CH bonds are perfectly staggered. Another image of cyclohexane that assumes, chair conformer as most stable conformer is shown in the image. Cyclohexane assumes boat and twist boat conformer as unstable conformer. There the image shows the boat and twisted boat conformers. Out of all these three conformers, chair conformer, boat conformer and twisted boat conformer, the most stable is chair conformer, boat conformer is partially unstable. Whereas, twisted boat conformer is most unstable, and, it has maximum potential energy. Conformational energy of cyclohexane conformers. The image shows the graph of potential energy versus various conformers of cyclohexane. This graph represents that, out of all these three conformers, chair conformer, boat conformer and twisted boat conformer, the most stable is chair conformer, boat conformer is partially unstable. Whereas, twisted boat conformer is most unstable, and it has maximum potential energy. Similarly, for biomolecule glucose, where its cyclic structure is known as glucopyranose, shows similar conformers to that of cyclohexane. The image on the left shows the cyclization of glucose linear molecule to cyclic glucopyranose, here the glucopyranose structure is represented using Hayworth projection. Similar to cyclohexane, C6H12, glucopyranose, C6H12O6, is also six-membered a cyclic structure. Glucose can also take chair and boat conformation. Conformers of glucose, is described, by the image. The image shows that bulky groups like O and CH2OH, are more favored to occupy equatorial position, whereas, non-bulky protons can occupy axial position with minimal torsional strain. The second mate shows the chair conformer of glucose, where bulky groups O and CH2OH has occupied equatorial position, whereas, non-bulky protons can occupy axial position. Also, same molecule glucopyranose can be present in two different chair conformers but these conformers are non-conversible, without breaking the ring structure. Stay tuned for my next video on configurational isomers, where I will give explanation on geometric isomers, enantiomers, diastereoisomers, meso compounds. Along with, I will also explain the concept of tautomers and tautomerization. References Leninger's Principles of Biochemistry, 5th edition. Nelson and Cox. Biochemistry, 5th edition. Garrett and Grisham. Topics in Stereochemistry, Volume 22. Denmark, John Wiley and Sons, Inc. Topics in Current Chemistry, Stereochemistry. Vogdal and Weber. If you are new to my channel, 
please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.